English. We need to start over. <laughs> we need to start over. Hello, Hello guys. guys. Welcome back to Let's Talk Everything. And I'm here with Kayla. And my name is Deborah. So first of all, I'd like to ask you, where are you from, Kayla? I'm from the Netherlands or Oranda. Oh, and how was your job in so far? Uh, mother, mother, this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll go straight to the questions. Um, first of all, why did you choose APU? I chose APU because it has a very international student body, but you still get to experience and explore Japan as well. Um, and I really wanted to learn the language, mm. but also at the same time still have friends from different nationalities. So mm. that's why. And what do you have to tell people who actually wanted to come to Japan or maybe APU in general? Like, do you have any advice for anybody coming? For anybody coming to Japan in general, please learn Japanese, even if it's just a little bit and just hiragana or katakana. Mm -hmm. Um, but it will help you. Um, furthermore, for people that actually want to study here, specifically in our school, mm. practice both languages equally. Both English for people that are not native to English and also Japanese because it's just so much easier to make friends. Mm. For me, my Japanese has gone like this. So it's still perfect. I think it's still perfect. Don't mind her. <laughs> but so, because of that, like I feel like it's harder to connect with Japanese students, mm -hmm. like especially when you're not practicing. So please yeah. keep practicing and yeah. you will make friends really easily. That's true. And have an amazing time in this beautiful country. How do you say bye in your country? Do we? Or da? It's really it's really easy. Okay, so what should you use? I think do is easier. Okay then. Do <laughs> 